We'll talk about the actual pricing structure of the AI employee, both on how much you can profit off of, as well as how much you should be charging your clients, as well as cover the options because there's a pay per usage and a $97 per month unlimited plan. And uh, which one should you choose? Also, there's a promotion that High Level is offering right now, which is going on until December 31st, in which all of the employee AI stuff is completely free inside of all of your accounts. You can activate them in as many as you want. So now it would be the time in order to turn this stuff on for you and your uh, sub accounts. First things first, let's uh, cover the pricing structure. So I put together a little bit of a table here and hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. I'll kind of walk through things. So the base price for the employee AI on the pay per usage, this isn't the $97 per month plan. This is what you can actually rebuild to your clients. So what this looks like is if you go inside of a sub account and you decide to go ahead and turn it on for that sub account. So you'd go to the sub account, click on season of AI, and then you click on opt in for AI employee. If you are the agency account, this is your agency sub account, go ahead and do the do not charge location, click on next, and you can choose a subscription or a pay as you go. Now to decide on which one you should choose, this is where I uh, made this table to come in use for. So I did a little bit of research and it looks like the average small business spends about three hours per week on the phone. That's probably where most of the costs are going to come into play. If you are at the 1.05x rebilling, uh, which would be like the standard pay as you go, then you'd probably go with 1.05x and if you're doing like 10 hours of phone calls, you're gonna be right here at this amount. You probably like $89 per month is what it's gonna to totally cost you for all the employee AI stuff inside your account. It's kind of a toss up. Probably won't be breaking the $97 per month cost and the pay per usage. So you might just go as a, a pay as you go. But if I jump over here and this is a, this account that you see right here is a $97 per month high level account so I can't do a markup here but let me show you one inside of a $497 per month plan. Inside of a $497 per month plan you can actually opt in and do charge from location and then you can do a pay as you go and you can actually create a markup. So I probably wouldn't go any more than like a 1.3x because then it uh, you aren't necessarily market competitive in comparison to some of the other AI options that are out there, but a 1.3x rebilling is going to give you roughly 33 extra dollars per month in profit based on the average small business and their usage, which is about 10 hours, uh, 12, uh, 10 to 12 hours every single month on the phone, which would be $101 that they are spending or $110 when you add all of the AI employee features together. That's kind of the reasoning behind high level in which they chose to add the subscription model of the $97 per month. So let me explain this. This is free until December 31st of 2024. If you're after that time, then this is going to be a paid feature. You can actually upcharge this. So I probably do at least a $297 dollars so that your profit is two hundred dollars don't activate the subscription to charge on an agency sub account but if you're inside of a sub account of one of your clients i would go ahead and opt in and charge this amount 297 or 197 the ai employee it's going to be one of the most cost effective and easy to sell features of high level that they've implemented i believe and i know several others have um, come to that conclusion as well so the 297 is completely reasonable amount to charge. $97 per month is what high level charges you as an agency. So once you activate it for the client, $200 per month is the profit that you get to pull off of that. Let's walk through features of this plan. So voice AI, that's the first one to kind of focus in on. And the voice AI is going to be found inside of settings and on the left hand side, which is the voice AI agents. And you can actually build agents. You've probably seen some videos uh, by this point, but I'll do a quick walkthrough. You can come inside of this voice AI agent, set a name, find one of the voices. Uh, there are 60 plus voices that are inside of here. You can click on play and listen to the kind of the style um, of that voice. See if it's one that reflects your business. And then you can enter in your phone number right here, have the AI agent call you to go ahead and test it out. So the idea is that Anytime a business receives an inbound phone call, the AI agent is going to be the one picking up. And so you can actually go to the phone availability 
set working hours. So maybe this is only an after hours a agent and you would come inside here and say, okay, this is only from let's say like 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. Um, until like 12 a.m. in the morning. So this is only an after hours agent or you could have it wor working 24 seven because maybe the business that you are selling this to needs a front desk AI agent is basically what it's replacing is a full-time salaried position and they're getting it at three or four thousand dollars a year as opposed to having to pay for 40 50 or sixty thousand dollars per year for a um, full-time employee inside of the ai agent you can actually set goals so if you want the ai agent to collect the name email contact issue and address address would probably be for like plumbers or service people uh, then you can turn that on here and then you can set a custom email for the notification to come to. And so you can actually uh, look at the call history inside of the voice AI agent, and you can switch this to an advanced mode in which you can customize the specific prompt. And if you want to do call transfers, you can do that here. So for real estate agents, call live call transfers, huge deal. So when someone picks up uh, and calls the AI agent for your client's business, let's say it's a real estate agent, then the caller can say, hey, I need to talk to David. And the AI agent says, great, transferring you to David right now. And that will happen completely automatically. You don't need a dedicated secretary, front desk, office manager in order to field these phone calls. It can be completely done by an AI agent and it's super seamless. You can also automate text messages to come out of here too. So that's an AI agent. Um, it basically replaces someone that answers phone calls. That's the uh, gist of it. Next one is Conversation AI. If you go inside this account, Conversation AI version two is inside here and make sure that you set your bot up in here because Conversation AI version one will be deprecated um, over the next couple of months. And what this will do is you can actually train this on your website. So you go to bot training um, and put inside of bot training the actual website. So you go straight to here and you say like, go highlevel.com and then you can click on get data. That's going to fetch all the pages and details inside of here. Um, sometimes it's, and depending on the size of the website, it may take a, a little bit of time or a lot of time, but it'll actually train on all these pages. And then you can go over here to the bot and you can kind of test it and make sure it's answering things correctly. So once this is all trained and you can add custom Q and A responses too. So there's uploaded links, go high level, so I can go over here to the bot and say, uh, what is go high level and spell it correctly. And then the AI bot is going to um, reference all the things that has been trained on and answer the, the question. You can also um, like retrain it by going inside here and, and kind of customize each individual prompt based on questioning. Train your bots, make sure you train it. That's one of the biggest things to do. But then you go to the bot settings and you would turn this on to automatically respond to Instagram, Facebook, text messages, the chat widget on the website, and live chat if you want to, and you can click it on for autopilot. Again, make sure you test it, make sure it all works, uh, but you can set on autopilot, save that detail. And there's also some other advanced modes down here. And of course, the pricing is going to say the 0 0.02 cents per response, but if you opt in for the free season of AI, it's completely free until December 31st. And then it's either that $97 per month plan or the pay per use. So let's go into the next one. I'm moving super fast, but hopefully you're following along. Reviews AI, that's going to be a tool inside of here, which is the reputation management. You can go inside of here and that has actually been moved over to the reputation management in the main page and you can turn on reviews AI. So this is going to automatically respond to reviews that your business receives, which Google is super happy with um, and Facebook is, is happy with as well. And you can go suggestive or auto responses. And what it'll do is whenever the business or your client receives a review and you can set it to five star reviews, four star and above, um, and you can also have it wait for a little bit of time. So it seems a little bit more natural and it's not just a bot automatically responding. Uh, then it'll automatically respond to those reviews that the business receives. That's included inside of the employee AI. Next one is a content AI. So content AI is in a couple of places. And the easiest one to kind of show you is if I go to the marketing section and I go to emails and I create a new campaign inside of here, this 
is going to be one of the places that Content AI lives. And if I go into a blank and go ahead and design this, um, this is just the email editor inside of High Level. Um, then I can go inside of here and I click on this little Content AI up here and I can say generate with AI and I can select, okay, I want this to be promo promotional. And this is like promote um, a uh, new puppy sale. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I'm gonna say like puppy and writing tone is gonna be like witty and this is gonna be like a large amount and I'm gonna say like one, maybe two variations and go ahead and generate that. So that's gonna be the content AI. Again, you can either choose the paper usage or the um, $97 per month plan. And I kind of estimated those things out on the um, content AI for a thousand words, it's 0.117 cents. And so if you wrote like three blogs or 3000 words, that's about a dollar and five cents every single month for the content AI for the number of blogs. Now your usage and costs are gonna change again, you can choose the $97 per month plan from high level and not have to worry about the rebilling. Uh, and then this is the kind of an example of the content AI. It'll write these full blogs out here and then you can copy it and say, dear dog level, dog, dog lovers, and then continue. And then it'll paste it straight inside here. So that'll like help generate all of your blogs. And then of course you can save that if you want to and uh, exit out of that. That also lives inside of the social planner and inside of a couple other locations like inside of the sites. Speaking of sites, the next one is going to be the funnel AI, and that is going to be um, something that you can rebuild. And it's not something that's going to be used all the time, but what you do is you click on a new funnel and you click on funnel AI, and you walk through these prompts where it's like, I want this for a med spa, and this is going to be um, kind of health. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can find like med spa, uh, or maybe oh, comedy club kind of looks a little bit interesting. I want comedy actually, uh, comedy comedy josh and then go through here generate more leads actually i want to showcase my services and i want it to be uh, converse humorous and we're going to generate that and this right here of course is not something that's going to be like you're not generating funnels all the time and so this would be something that um, is maybe like a dollar twenty eight cents maybe a dollar thirty cents every single month because maybe one funnel gets generated every month but who knows you could be a business um, you could have a client that is selling a ton of these funnel AI details. And while we're waiting on this to generate, because I want to do this all in real time, I also wanted to be like super transparent. This is my monetization transpa transparency post, and kind of just IE how I make money, which is I make these educational videos on YouTube and I do promotional posts on, on Facebook. That goes to my website, which is uh, joshuasanderford.com. And on that website, you can actually see uh, that's right here on my website. I have a bunch of free and paid stuff. There's a free audit. You can run your business audit through that if you want to. I have my own high level SaaS, which is eGrowth Lab. You can check that out, uh, kind of copy it if you want to. I've got blogs, I got free videos. These free videos have um, been downloaded by about close to 6,000 people. And these are free resources for high level. You don't have, there's no required opt-in. You just go to a Google Drive and they're white labeled or, or gray labeled to be more uh, precise, gray labeled onboarding training videos. And then the other thing that I have on my website uh, is like the plugin. I've got affiliate links for high level and I have this landing page that if you want to sell the AI agent, you can get a demo video for it by going here, either signing up as my affiliate or paying $47. Uh, I just wanted to be super transparent with how I make money uh, because I don't think that's I think that needs to be a little bit more common. And so people go from my website, get free resources, optional contact info can be submitted, uh, get an affiliate link. And then I've got these communities. The communities are completely free. I don't want to pay for the, have people pay me for the communities. And then I build some products for high level, plus this $47 landing page. I'll probably have some other landing pages and resources in the future, but that's what I've got right now. Uh, just wanted to be super upfront with that. Um, hopefully funnel AI has generated. Okay. So this is a landing page, uh, explore the fun services with comedy at, with Josh, and it should be pulling some photos that are kind of referenced inside here. It, it's, it's fine. It's great. Um, it's there. That's what I'll say about, about that. And then the last thing is going to be the workflow AI assistant. If you go inside of the, your account and you go to automations, this is, um, 
definitely going to be underrated. Everyone's going to be focusing, me included, on AI agents and kind of conversation AI. But if you go into a workflow and you create one, let me do one from a recipe, and I do like a lead nurture with GPT history, there's going to be this little AI assistant that shows up here in the bottom left with suggestions. And I'm going to say like describe this workflow and it'll analyze the workflow. This is for, uh, honestly, this is for anyone, me included, which is it'll walk you through exactly the breakthrough of, of breakdown of the workflow, which is trigger. It starts when a form is submitted. Then there's a welcome email, wait for a day, intro, video, email. Great. Um, and then I can ask questions specifically about that. Also, if I want to go back and I can actually have it kind of generate uh, suggestions for the uh, workflow. So assist with building. Um, I like, what is an action? It'll kind of describe what the action is. And I can go inside here and say, hey, I want to create a lead magnet. And it'll actually walk me through how to create a lead, lead magnet. And so I can do stuff like add a contact tag and it'll walk me through actually adding it. So that is the workflow AI. Again, um, when we go all the way back to the beginning of opting into the AI season of AI and you opt in, if this is a sub account, pretending that this is one of your client's sub account, you would opt in for AI and you would choose either the do not charge or the charge from location. You would charge from location in order to make a profit off of your client and come and set the price. So again, you can do like a 297 subscription and you would be making $200 off of that. Um, and so what you'll do is you go to the agency level at, of Season AI and you would type in, or you would select a button that says uh, opt in right here. And I'd appreciate it. This is of course my plug if you put in Joshua Sander Ford, um, dot AI. And if you use my affiliate code, then I'm going to send you this um, landing page. You can watch the video here. It's a demo landing page for you to be able to sell AI agents and it comes with a demo video so you can actually show it because it demos super well um, for your clients. And so if I'd really appreciate that, that's one of the ways that you can support me and you can click on apply referral code and then screenshot and send that to me um, at josh at egrowthlab.com or via Facebook or in the comments below, um, any way of sending sending it to me and then I will send you that landing page sales video and the demo video. Once you have opted in to the season of AI, you also have the ability to go to reselling and you can click on resell employee or AI employee and you can set the default price for all of the accounts. And once you set that, that's, uh, that'll be the default reselling price that each one of your clients can then opt in for the AI employee that you then get a profit of $200 per month. Okay, uh, take a breath, go to sleep, um, and hopefully you enjoyed this. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in this video, or maybe this video, or any of the videos. <laughs>